this is old Doc Holland, and I hate to have my my old glasses on. I just I don't have any glasses with me that that don't darken and everything in the sunlight. I'm going to put these away. I, it's hard for me to see the camera and push the right buttons, but I'm going to try to do that. There's a squirrel that got my attention over here. If you hear him carrying on in a minute, don't be surprised because he's wanting to know what I'm doing down in his neck of the woods. I'm, I'm here in my make-do lean-to that I put up uh, and want just to be out in the woods before it starts raining. It's supposed to start raining. It's going to be storming, a lot of high winds. have a lot of trees that came came down when they cleared things out. Um, found a lot of trees that the wind had blown down. and I just didn't want to put up any type of good tent or anything. I want to do some Papaw Glampin stories a little bit later on in the next couple days. But today it's going to be windy, going to be storming. And I just didn't want to mess with that. So I'm under the make-do lean-to and just wanted to tell you a story. I, I came down on Sunday, taught Sunday school Sunday morning, then left right after that, said goodbye to Oma Darlin and, and my grandbaby twins. Uh, Bubba and Sissy is, is what we call them, their nicknames. And they're three years old and they are hands full for their mama and their, and their grandma. And I... Uh, stopped on my way down to visit friends in London, Kentucky that I went to high school with about a thousand years ago. Came down and, and went across 92 to 27 and stopped at Oneida, Tennessee to get some groceries at the Walmart. Now down here you say that kind of thing. You say the Sonic and the Walmart and the Taco Bell. Not Taco Bell, not Sonic, not Walmart. I stopped at the Walmart. And I was over in the garden section. And this little old boy, I got kind of tickled. He came around and he looked at me and he said, Hi, old man. <laughs> I'd never been called old man like that. You know, every now and then old old man is, is a little nickname maybe that somebody calls you. Oh, my darling might say that here and there. But I've never been spoken to like that. He didn't mean it in any any malicious way at all. He's just saying, hi, old man, because I am. Not to me, but to him. And, and I just, I had to laugh at that. Hi, old man. And I said, well, hi, how are you doing? He said, just fine, just fine, and went, went on his way. My guess is this, if his mama had heard him, she would have been mortified. <laughs> but I didn't mind it at all. It, it just, it, it made me laugh. And you know, that's the funny thing about designations and about point of view. I did a campfire thing the other day, had my fire pit going and, and talked about point of view. And, and, you know, that's the interesting thing about point of view. That little boy saw me. He's maybe six, seven years old. He probably thought I was ancient. He probably thought I was a million years old. That's the thing about storytelling. And June 10, 11, and 12 at Cumberland Falls State Resort Park. We're going to be up in the pavilion up there. There's a huge shelter up there. We were there last year for the gathering of friends. We're going to be there for the gathering of friends too. And I hope you're coming. I hope you're coming to be with us. You can make reservations there at the lodge in the lodge or in some of the cabins. And that's your only cost, uh, that and your meals. Now, the storytelling weekend is free, not going to cost you a penny. And we're going to get together and we're going to have a carry in a, a, a potluck, whatever you want to call it, on Friday night. And we're going to tell stories. And when it gets dark, we're going to tell some scary stories. I was just listening. It sounded like somebody's coming up my drive. But I think they were going up my neighbor's drive. That's what happens when you live up here on this ridge. Anyways... Friday night, we're going to have a potluck, carry in. We're going to tell stories. And then when it gets dark, we're going to do some scary stories. I'm excited about that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Saturday morning, have breakfast. We're going to figure out if people are going to go to the lodge and have breakfast or if we're going to do something. But we'll have breakfast on Saturday morning. Then Saturday morning, we're doing a workshoppy type of a thing. And we're going to talk about how to find 
preserve and tell your family stories and tell them in such a way that you're not going to make people go to sleep because you and I have exciting things in our families. And then we're going to have dinner, lunchtime for folks up north. And after that, we're going to do traditional storytelling from different points of view. And not, not personal stories, but traditional stories. Uh, like jack tales, for example. Maybe if you want to tell, you know, tall tales. If you want to tell uh, storytelling for little kids like the three bears or three little pigs, you can even do that. But we're going to try doing some of that and have some fun with different points of view. Then we'll have supper. And then Saturday night, we'll just tell any kind of stories you want. You can come with your personal stories, stories you've written, whatever. And after dark, we might even do some scary stories. Might even roast some some ham hamburgers. We ain't going to roast no hamburgers. Might even roast some marshmallows over an open fire if we're able to do that. So, I don't know if you plan on coming. But I'm hoping you are. 10th, 11th, and 12th of June. You need to call the Cumberland Falls State Resort Park and make your reservations. And then just plan on being there. Let me know. Send me a message. Say, hey, I am going to be there. If you don't want to stay at the state park, the Cumberland Falls also has a campground. And any, any campers up to 24 feet can stay there. You can go down to Shelter Wee Trace to their campground. And they have pull-throughs and they have bigger spaces that are available you can do that. There are several Airbnbs around that area. If you want to just go to the 75 exit and get off the Corbin exit going to Cumberland Falls, there's three or four different motels right there you can stay at. And you say, that's a long way. Well, it's 15 minutes, about 15 miles, 15 minutes. That's all it is. And the pavilion, the, the big shelter we're staying at, if you come into the park, it's right behind the swimming pool. It's not hard to find. So my question is, the mountains are going to be calling, calling all of us, and we're going to have a gathering of friends. That part is free. You can just come for Saturday. If you don't want to stay all night, if you're down visiting kin folks and stuff, that's fine. Just come and spend Saturday with us. And then Sunday morning, breakfast, and then after that, we're going to spend some time together in the morning, and we're going to do some sacred stories, some stories that make us feel good, some stories that... Uh, that are inspirational, some stories that make us pause and think and be grateful. So with that, I'm kind of going to stop and say this is old Doc Holland. We're getting together 10, 11, 12 June, Cumberland Falls State Park. Don't cost a thing for our part, the gathering of friends too. My question is if the storytelling is going to happen, if it's free, what in the world is going to stop you from coming to join us? I'll see you then. <laughs>